Welcome to Ucanic. Today we have a 2023 Chevy Bolt and on this vehicle I'm going to show you how to be able to remove your central airbag, um, steering wheel airbag in case you need to replace it um, or to be able to get behind to replace um, steering wheel, clock spring, um, combination switches. So to start with before we do anything because we are dealing with the airbag, um, the airbag system Make sure you've disconnected your negative battery cable and given the vehicle time to de-energize, generally a good 10 to 15 minutes. And then also you can, when you're done with the 10, 15 minutes, hold your hand on the horn and that will make the full de-energizing. So um, to be able to get this removed is fairly simple. Um, we do, when we take this apart, Anything we take apart here, we want to have our tires um, going straight forward so that when we take things apart, we can put them back together that right way. Now, if you just um, pull a steering wheel, well, we turned it a little bit 90 degrees to the left right now. There's a little cover on the back here that we just need to pop off. And we do that on both sides. So you just need to pop it out and then um, you can pull it straight out and we have that cover there and we do the same on the other side and then being able to set those aside and what that does is that, and now we bring it back to the central location before we pop everything else off. What it does, that gives us access to the bolts that hold this piece on. So on both sides, there's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt right there. And we need to remove that from both sides, this side and the other side. And then this will be able to come out and be removed. All right, so with that bolt removed, now we'll be able to pull this away. We do have the electric connection that we need to disconnect. You have the one large connection, but that goes to all the other um, side pieces. So we need to disconnect this, which is our ground for the horn on this side. And then we have these connectors to be able to disconnect from the central airbag. Now, because the airbag has gone off, a lot of times these uh, melt there. And so you would need to be, um, you'll have to get new connectors, whether this whole wiring harness to replace. All right, got this all unhooked. It's not very pretty, but like I said, once the airbag goes off, these connectors generally melt. And so you're going to, when you replace this with a new one, you'll get a new wiring harness to be able to replace this. And so we've got the wiring harness, one large connector in here. Also, it goes to your um, little switches on the side, and that would be all one harness that you would need to get. To be able to replace when you do this so we're going to set that airbag aside that's the removal of our central airbag for replacement and or to be able to get the um, steering wheel removed so that we can replace our combination switches or the clock spring itself 
Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.